What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ramla Garage. Today we are going to be working on a Trans Am. Uh, we're in the garage, so uh, a little different site than what you guys have seen in the past. We've got the GTA out here. We're doing the full suspension overhaul, at least the front for now. We're going to get the Hawk 17 inch GTA wheels on there today as well, or at least in this video. Um, I did get a little head start without you guys. Uh, one funny thing I kind of did being dumb is I backed up onto my jack um, because of the way I park in here. I get as close to the wall as I can. So I had to back up a little bit. I backed up onto my jack, and when I pulled forward, shot her into my cabinet back here. So, not that bad. Um, the door was like bent all the way in, but uh, oh well, it happens. Um, so, down here as you can see, I just took this apart. Somebody has done brakes on this before. This looks really good. They've done shocks as well, or uh, struts up here as well, it looks like. Um, so there's some good stuff on here. This is some old Monroe um, sensor track or magnet track or something like that. So uh, they're decent. Uh, the KYBs that we're going to put in here will be upgraded. So I'm excited for that. So uh, we do already have the uh, tie rod out there. Uh, took off the brake line there and um, also took out the, uh, the Zerk fitting for the grease line so I can put the jack up under the, the control arm here to get that uh, that spring out, which looks like they never replaced, but did the struts, so uh, not super uncommon. But uh, so this side's ready to uh, drop that down. And actually, I, I've never looked, but you look up here, you can see on the dust cap here, they were prying on there. So they've definitely done some work on this car before, obviously, with suspension. Um, and on the side, I just have to catch up to where I am on the other side. So that's that. Here's what we're using. We're using KYB XLGs. Um, I believe these are an upgrade KIB suspension mounts or strut mounts. Uh, we have some Moog coil springs for the front. And uh, I think that's kind of it. Some Moog, uh, we're going to do some Moog uh, sway bar end links as well. And the tie rod ends seem pretty tight, so I think we're okay in that regard. There's no play there at all. So. Um, I think that's all we have to worry about right now. I'm just going to keep chipping away and uh, I'll bring you guys with and then we'll get the Hawks wheels on here. And uh, I don't know if we're going to do the rear today. If I get to it, I get to it. But we'll get the Hawks wheels on the back there and uh, everything ready to go here. So we're at old shock and old spring out. We're a little dirty in here, but not a big deal. Um, I don't know if this is, well, that's just all crap. I'll get that out of there. Um, but do a little cleaning up. You look over here, we have our new spring and our old spring. Uh, new one is a little shorter for some reason. But uh, you do have these uh, rubber bushings or rubber seats. Uh, one easy way to get those to stay since there's no lip on them is just use some like scotch tape. It's not gonna have any long-term adverse effects or anything like that. So uh, just toss those on. Uh, transferred over the uh, brake line clip there. And uh, these, str these struts are really actually pretty decent it looks like. But uh, we're in here anyways. We're gonna replace them and uh, get the new springs in there. If you're not familiar, replacing these springs is pretty simple. Um, really, all you're doing is lowering down the control arm and then they'll pop out. Uh, not a whole lot of tension on them at that point. So we're gonna put them back in and uh, get everything back together. Then obviously, if you want, this is a great time to just kind of clean off the, uh, the strut towers here. Because um, they're kind of in the way when everything is put back together. but. So you got ours cleaned up pretty well. Um, don't lose your bracket here. Um, we are replacing the strut mounts as well. Again, they look pretty good, but we're here. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna spend the time and money right now to take care of it and hopefully not have to worry about it in the near future. So we'll get that put back in. We'll get this all wrapped up and we'll move on to the other side. All right, we haven't put the dust cap on, but we are installed. Noting that the KYBs 
you need to use the nut that they come with, uh, the other nut I almost cross started trying to use. So use the nut in the washer that KYB supplies and uh, got everything in there looking good. Spring is in there. Uh, so we have our end links are kind of just being a pain, but I'll muscle those on here in a bit. I cannot wait to, uh, we're gonna degrease this whole thing and just spray the heck out of it. And then the uh, sway bar, I'll come out here eventually and go off the powder coat of just black. So everything is looking good in there. Obviously I have to put tie rods back in. I'm gonna save those for last. We're gonna move over to the other side and get that complete as well. All right, so you might be wondering where the uh, fourth gen is. It's just out here in storage with the, uh, the Rambler for those of you guys that haven't seen it. So we're out here to get the Hawk 17 inch wheels. I can't wait to get these on. I uh, also have a rear track bar and rear springs and rear shocks. Also might throw the truck power bar on uh, while we're doing the front uh, suspension stuff. So I'm gonna grab all this and toss it in the truck over there. We'll head home and keep going. All right, so we are officially done up front. Um, you can see we got the uh, shock in there. Spring is in there, sway bar end links are in there. That sway bar is gonna come out and get repainted or powder coated. Um, the, the flash on the camera kind of makes everything else look a little more rusty than it is in my opinion. Uh, but hopefully that lower control arm is just gonna get a real good cleaning. Everything else will get a good degreasing and cleaning. Uh, I'll come over to the other side here. And everything looks good here as well. So uh, while we're doing suspension, we're also gonna toss in the BMR strut tower brace. Uh, I just have to get that marked off and drilled. So that shouldn't be too much effort. Um, also going to, I don't know where my parts are. I have a, a fuel filter over here, right, right there. And then I have a oil pressure sensor that I'm gonna do as I do an oil change, but stuff is a mess right here. So I'm gonna clean up first and then do that. We're gonna put the Hawk 17 inch wheels up front and then we're gonna to move to the back and uh, do the rear suspension today. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, fuel filter and the oil pressure sensor switch. Um, everything is all good to go. Then we're gonna get it uh, on the Hawks up front and back down on the ground. Um, I will be taking video of how to do these. There's a couple older videos on the internet, so I wanna make a couple updated ones. Um, VMR Star Tower Brace is gonna be going on. But look at those. I just put on that one. It looks fantastic. I love it compared to the rear ones. They look so good. I can't wait to get this thing on the ground and see what the whole car looks like. Um, so once I get those taken care of, we're gonna get this thing back on the ground. We're gonna flip it around and uh, take care of the rear suspension. Uh, as I think you guys know, we have, I don't know where I put it, uh, new shocks for the rear, new track bar, new springs. So that should be all really quick. I also got some uh, sway bar on links as well. Just picked those up earlier. So um, gonna wrap this up. I'll show you guys what I do, flip it around, and keep going. All right, guys, so I had everything back together here. Uh, as you can see, it's riding a little high right now. Um, it was way higher, I'll put a picture up right now, but I had the, the springs indexed incorrectly, and I don't think they sat properly in the cup. Um, so I got that taken care of. Stock ride height at the center of the fender here should be 28.5 inches. You can see we're almost to 29. So we've got a little settling to do. Uh, it was at 30 and a half when I let it down. Um, so it's settled about an inch and a half so far. I'm trying to get another half inch out of it and it'll be stock ride height. Um, so the Hawks wheels look good on there. We got a little bit uh, left to do and hopefully that just settles once we take it around the block. The car's not moved yet or anything. So uh, we're gonna take it around the block and then back it in and then we're gonna take care of the, uh, the rear suspension and uh, we'll proceed and see what it looks like. All right, so I just went for a little 10 minute drive. Came back and measured, that's 28.5 inches from the ground to the top part of the, arch, the fender arch. So that is what factory ride height should be. Take a step back. Let's see, sorry for the wind. Um, a lot of these cars are sagged over time. Um, obviously the car looked different, you can see in the back. Even here, these are sagged uh, half inch to an inch when I measure what they should be. So this car's gonna look a lot differently with our rear suspension on as well, but uh, we're gonna get it up in the air. We'll start that rear suspension. We have a clunk in the back, which I believe is the uh, 
uh, what is it, the pan hard bar or whatever they call it. So I have one of those, we'll get it swapped out and then we'll do a full review after the swap, uh, including the new tires and the wheels and uh, see how those moogs are up front. They handled really well, this car handles like it's on rails now and I haven't even done the rear. So I'm looking forward to driving this thing and showing you guys uh, how it performs. All right guys, so flash makes this look more rusty than it is. Uh, but you can tell, I think factory springs, upgraded shocks I believe, and very toast sway bar end links. Uh, I think I know where our sound is coming from over bumps. I think that is it. So we're gonna pull those out, uh, get the shocks out and the springs, put the new ones in, and get this put back in the car. Oh, and the uh, our pan hard bar, or whatever they call them these days, we'll pull that out too. All right, so for the rears, we took off the same as the front. Uh, those are Monroe Sensitrack, those are pretty old. Um, but I think they are upgrades, so this car has had upgrades at one point. We're putting on KYB gas adjusts and uh, just some AC Delco factory springs. So, uh, we've got to drop a little further to get the springs out, but we'll get that out, replace the, uh, the traction bar, and uh, put it all back together. Alright, so springs out, new one's obviously on the right. New one is a good bit taller and is also a variable rate spring, so that might be why it's taller. You can see the coils get a little closer together at the top. So, gotta bring this rear end down just a touch more, and then we're gonna put in, and we'll put everything back together. All right, we are all back together. Sway bar and links are in. The uh, shock is all bolted in. We're ready to put this car down. Um, I do have the jack under it, so bolted everything and tidied everything up with uh, pressure under it. Come in here, you can see where those mounts are, hopefully. Uh, one last thing we're going to do off camera is just replace the fuel filter since we're over here. So I'm going to do that quick and then we'll get it on the ground with the Hawks and we'll see the, uh, the final result. And we are back on the ground. This looks phenomenal. I love it. Let's get it outside, take a full look at it, check it out. a bit of the, the third gen experience after the new suspension. Um, it's a little bit louder in here just because the front springs, springs are a little more stiff. Um, but handling terms, like this thing, it just goes where you want. And uh, I don't know, just, it's a cool combination being a lower powered car with uh, good suspension because you can really just toss it into the corners and it, it will go. So we'll try and get a, a little video up here and uh, show out handles. Alright guys, there you have it, the full suspension on the 89 Trans Am GTA. This thing is such a joy to drive now. It's just so hard to show you guys uh, how much better it is. I mean, really, it's impossible. But uh, I think what we're going to do is probably get the GoPro on here and do some driving videos very soon so you guys can kind of experience this car. And then I want to compare it to the 4th Gen as well. For you guys that are looking and want to compare, you know, is it really worth spending more on a 4th Gen than it is a 3rd Gen? Um, or what the differences in driving experiences are like. So we'll just uh, we'll take one more step back here. And uh, well, I can't get far enough back, but there you have it. Springs finally settled at 28.5 inches to the top of the fender arch and the quarter arch back there. Um, so that's gonna wrap this video up. We are gonna put in uh, brand new speakers here. I'm actually gonna start filming that video here shortly, The two in the dash up here, and then there's two back in the, uh, you can kinda see back in there so that's coming up uh if you guys are interested in that please uh, hit that like and subscribe button that video will be up and i will show you guys how to do that uh, here very soon so i want to thank you guys for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video